Our cities are turning into huge human hives, where transportation usually becomes associated with hours being stuck in traffic or waiting for overcrowded public buses and trains. Taking this fact into consideration and being inspired by the science fiction concepts, engineers are trying to rethink the way we travel and fulfill the future of flying cars, personal mini-aircraft and vertical takeoff and landing passenger drones. In this episode, we'll show you the most recent and promising models that were expected to hit the skies as early as 2020. Remember that you're watching Automotive Territory and subscribe not to miss the upcoming releases. Enjoy your flight! Cora by Kitty Hawk Backed by Larry Page, one of the co-founders of Google, in eight years of existence, the California-based company Kitty Hawk managed to find and hire the best research and engineering talent to make personal and commercial flying cars possible. This March, the company unveiled its first vehicle, a two-passenger all-electric aircraft with self-piloting and VTOL capabilities, brought into motion by 12 independent lift fans that are flanking the cabin on both sides can develop the top speed of 93 miles per hour and fly at altitudes between 500 and 3000 feet. Though neither the parameters for the propeller's combined power nor battery capacity have been released, the aircraft is expected to travel for about 62 miles on a charge. Using VTOL technology, it also requires no runway to operate and can potentially transform any open space, rooftop or parking lot in your neighborhood into a takeoff platform. The company is currently testing Quora in partnership with the government of New Zealand, planning to launch an air taxi service there in the next five years. Blackfly After nine years under development, the Blackfly was introduced in 2018 as the world's first ultralight fixed-wing all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. This flyer is made from carbon fiber reinforced epoxy with all-electric battery power propulsion. Unlike many VTOLs, Blackfly is not using ducted fans, tilting rotors or tilt wing to ascent, but rather the entire aircraft changes pitch. To comply with national regulations, the US and international versions of this aircraft will have different configurations. American modification will get an 8 kWh battery, 25 miles of range and 62 mph speed, while the rest of the world will enjoy battery specifications, reflected in 40 miles range and 80 mph cruising velocity. Notably, Opener Arrow is the second VTOL startup that is supported by Google's Larry Page. Looks like he knows something about the future of automaking and wants to amass a flying car's empire before the competition catches up. Astro Alroy This personal electric VTOL was announced as passenger drone by the company of the same name in 2017. However, soon after the first test flights, it was sold to Astro, where it is now being developed under the name Alroy. The vehicle has a size slightly bigger than that of a regular automobile and works on 16 individual electric rotors that ensure zero emission and little vibration. Its cabin can accommodate two passengers, however the max payload of only 264 pounds makes it a little bit tricky. The VTOL reaches the altitude of more than 60 feet and develops the max speed of 44 miles per hour. The battery charge is enough to ensure the flight time of 20 to 25 minutes. Alroy's cockpit is packed with the cutting-edge technology features like adaptive flight control, fiber-optic internal communicators and encrypted communication channels. The flight process is made fully autonomous via LTE 4G network guidance, where you just have to type in the destination on the touchscreen. However, the manual board control is still an option anytime you need it. Concepto Millennia Developed by the Filipino former hip-hop dancer Kix Mendiola, Concepto Millennia is a passion project of a man who got tired of city traffic. The vehicle's design is something between a giant camera drone and a tiny spaceship, giving it a pretty futuristic feel. Millennia works on 16 rotary motors, drawing power from six lithium-ion batteries, and it is able to transport a single passenger of up to 220 pounds of weight. The charge allows it to stay in the air for about 15 minutes, while the full recharge time takes 2.5 hours. Concepta Millennia is capable of speeding up to 37 miles per hour and reaching the maximum altitude of 20 feet. Although it does not have an autonomous mode, the constructor claims that handling is pretty intuitive, where it goes up to the needed altitude at the push of a button and then you just control the movement with a stick. Millennia has recently passed its first test flight so it still has a long way to go before reaching the market. 
Flyer by Kitty Hawk Flyer is the company's first personal aircraft that is designed for people with no flying experience and zero practice. Weighing only 250 pounds, the small one-seater vehicle is built using lightweight but durable composite materials. It belongs to the class of ultralight aircraft, requires no pilot's license and must be operated only in scarcely populated areas or over water. Propelled into motion by 10 electric motors, 5 at each side, the vehicle can fly at 20 miles per hour and 10 feet above ground. And it also has pontoons for water landing. Flyer is powered by a set of lithium polymer batteries that are good for 20 minutes of operation. Though technically not a flying machine, but rather a hover car, the Flyer is engineered to deliver the ultimate flying and piloting adventures. Plus, it is claimed to be so easy to operate that with professional training, a complete beginner can learn how to fly in just under one hour. Aeromobile 4.0 The idea that someday cars will fly dates all the way back to 1940s, when Henry Ford expressed his confidence that this was the inevitable path of the automotive development. It seems that the fourth-generation Aeromobile from the small Slovakian company has just the right recipe to fulfill these predictions. In its ground form, the vehicle is not bigger than a mid-size pickup truck, but with the unfolded wings, the width increases to 28 feet. The powertrain of this hybrid aircraft will comprise of a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder boxer with 300 horses output to propel it in flight, and on the ground, a dedicated front-wheel drive electric motor will be used. The zero-emission driving range reaches 40 miles on a charge, while in flight, Aeromobile 4.0 can cover 465 miles. So all in all, a pretty solid aircraft that however won't be available to the white public, costing $1.2 to $1.6 million. Vertical Aerospace Despite being one of the youngest companies that are developing flying cars, Vertical Aerospace is definitely an ambitious one. Founded only two years ago in 2016, the Bristol-based startup has since built and showcased a real flight-capable VTOL vehicle. Powered by four electric motors, the all-electric prototype is now being tested in England. So far, the flights are unmanned. The aircraft is known to stay in the air for about five minutes and develop the top speed of 50 miles per hour. However, when put into production, the aircraft is expected to fly up to 140 miles on a charge with a cruising speed of around 200 mph. Unlike many competitors, Vertical Aerospace decided not to make autonomous flying a priority, so their on-demand intercity air taxis, which will be introduced in the UK by 2022, will be piloted by one crew member and will accommodate two passengers. In the future, the company does plan to work out a self-piloting feature, grow passenger capacity to four people and increase range to 500 miles. Thanks for still being with us! Stick around till the end to get to the bonus entries and consider watching more episodes about flying things on our channel. You will find links in the information boxes. Let's keep rolling! Rolls-Royce EVTOL Concept Unveiled at Farnborough International Air Show in July of 2018, this personal and public mobility concept from Rolls-Royce may become the main competitor for flying automobiles from Uber and Airbus if it ever comes to fruition. Despite its name, the EVTOL concept is not all electric. To speed up the development process and decrease production costs, it uses a hybrid powertrain consisting of a gas turbine that charges a battery which in turn powers six electric rotors, four on the wings and two on the tail. To make vertical takeoff and landing possible and reduce cabin noise and drag, it has 90-degree rotating wings, and its wing rotors fold away after the takeoff. The aircraft has two seating configurations for four or five people, and it is expected to fly at 250 miles per hour speed. So far, the vehicle exists only on paper, but Rolls-Royce claims that it can be on the streets or rather in the skies as soon as early 2020s. Workhorse Surefly. Workhorse is the US-based company founded in 1998. It has been recently making headlines after the introduction of the first-ever production electric pickup truck. However, they are not stopping there and intend to use electric propulsion knowledge in building a two-seat hybrid EVTOL vehicle. Surefly is lifted in the air by a pair of counter-rotating propellers which are located at the end of four arms. All in all, it's eight propellers which are powered by independent electric motor each. When we are saying that this is a hybrid aircraft, it means that electric motors are connected to dual lithium-ion batteries, which in turn are recharged by a fossil fuel generator 
to compensate for the lack of range that pure electric propulsion can offer at the moment. After countless hours of tethered flight testing, SureFly completed the first independent flight in spring 2018, and while it is unknown how long passenger certification will take, Workhorse expects first deliveries of cargo quadcopters by 2020. Aston Martin Volante Vision Concept Even though Aston Martin designers have been really busy lately, they still managed to spare some time and develop a conceptual V2L in cooperation with Grandfield Aerospace Solutions, Grandfield University, and Rolls-Royce. The three-seater aircraft was named Volante Vision, and it intends to bring luxury personal transportation to the sky. The flyer will be powered by three rotors, brought into motion by a hybrid electric propulsion system. No pilot seat was thought of, since Volante was imagined with a vision of full autonomy. Even though it probably will never be produced in this conceptual form that was revealed to us, Volante Vision shows Aston Martin's understanding of the direction where the transportation industry is headed, so chances are that we will still see the British green-batched VTOL in the sky. Pop-up next, City Airbus and Uber Air. The majority of flying car projects in our video are either one of concepts for car makers or startups by the young and ambitious companies. However, these three models are being designed by the current giants of transportation. Firstly, the recently announced Pop-Up Next modular platform is a joint venture of Airbus, Etel Design and Audi. This electric vehicle will have multiple implementations. The passenger will simply enter a pod that will be autonomously transported to the final destination by the VTOL on road or rail modular means of transportation. And finally, both Airbus and Uber are currently conducting independent researches developing concepts of aerial taxis. Both shall be able to carry up to four passengers, and while City Airbus will use technologies similar to that used by quadcopter drones, Uber Air program uses more of a plane-like design, with tilting rotors to ensure vertical takeoff and landing capability. We have to admit that many of the entries from this list could hardly be called flying cars, some don't even have wheels. However, this term has been widely accepted by the public, so we chose to stick to it as well. Tell us in the comments what you think about the future of city air travel, do you see yourself aboard one of these? Watch more episodes suggested on the screen and subscribe. May the torque be with you!